Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Marcus here again. It seems as if every time I think I'm through making videos that people are disrespecting, that I'm throwing in the towel. And by the soon as I say that, something comes to me again. And I'm thinking about Kaepernick complaining about the mistreatment of people of color by people who got guns who have been given a nod to say it was okay to kill black people even if their tail lights are just out. Or even if they're walking away from you and you don't like it, you can shoot them, kill them, and come up with some little reason or just any little bit of reason and you'll get off and get a vacation as long as we get the niggas. And for black people, it's kind of hard to understand how white people can feel that way. But it's really brought to a tipping point when you think about the statutes and everything that's been set up around the nation giving honor to racists, to people who had slaves. And you know the story of slavery if you want to know it. You know the story of slavery if you don't want to know it. And how people are running around getting upset because black people won't honor a flag that says that white people have gotten a nod to keep on treating you as slaves. And I was just thinking, how in the world can somebody say something to help white people understand? You know, they're kind of slow at understanding things. They don't get it. They don't pick it up just like that. They've been so indoctrinated, sometimes it takes them 50 or 65 years to get something. This is why when they commit some heinous act, they'll put it in their files and lock it up for 50 years because it'll take you that long to get it. But anyway... I was just thinking, what is it that could help you see things a little bit clearer? And the thought came to my mind is, back in those days when slavery was apparent, apparent <clears throat> it's apparent now, but not like it was then. <clears throat> and some of the slaves, black people, got fed up with it. The system wasn't changing impact of any kind of laws that might have been made was not being expressed across the nation. And so they just said to hell with it. And what they did, they went, got up at night sometimes and went through these white masters' homes and slaughtered the whole family. Pulled them out in the streets. I don't think they cut their heads off. They leave that for other people. But slaughtered them. I mean, they tell me the white people are scared. They are running. Start hiring all kind of people. Get the niggas, get the niggas. So they were really afraid. So something says, well, in order for white people to understand what black people feel when they look at these statues, maybe you should give them an idea of what it, if the, it was reversed. What if those slaves that revolted, who went on the ramp path and wiped out a whole lot of people, white people, for what they did to slaves? What if you woke up one morning and you saw a statue built for Christmas addicts. What would you feel or what would you say? Now, I know some of you are thinking about Christmas addicts was a good nigga, but you don't know that for sure. What would you feel and what would you say if you saw a big statue standing up on a big monument of uh, Nat Turner, guy who, and others, you know, we don't know too many of them because you were trying to keep that a secret. But if you saw all kinds of statues exhibited almost in every state, and especially southern states, right beside your statues of your oppression, what if you felt and saw some statues of rebellion against white people for what they were doing to black people? And right beside your statues that you have immoralized, there were ones sitting up there over black people who rebelled and wiped a whole bunch of your families out. I got the feeling that you'd be ready to start a civil war. And now you upset because black people finally are getting fed up with your laughing at them. Well, I'm not trying to start a war. I just thought I'd throw that out at you, give you something to think about. Bye-bye.